What's up, tech fans? It's Marco from Tech of Tomorrow, and Apple just wrapped up their Worldwide Developers Conference in San Francisco, California, where they introduced iOS 8, Mac OS X Yosemite, and a bunch of new developer tools to make developers very happy for making all of the applications. Now, this year, they actually kept it all software-based, so there was no hardware announced at the Worldwide Developers Conference, so good for Apple for making it a true developers conference. It's kind of bad for us because we wanted a 4K display, and they didn't announce it, so no! But these are my top five features from both iOS 8 and Mac OS X Yosemite. I'm gonna start reverse with Mac OS X Yosemite because I was more impressed with it over iOS 8. Now I'm actually pretty impressed with both of them, but Mac OS X Yosemite is probably the best version of Mac OS X that I've seen so far. Now the first one is going to be Notification Center. Now obviously Notification Center has always been on Mac OS X since Mavericks, but now they've actually revamped the way it looks and it looks a little bit more flat, definitely more in line with iOS 8 and iOS 7. And they've also added the same tab view between today and also notifications. So it's definitely gonna be a little bit easier for anyone who uses iOS and Mac, so because it looks exactly the same now. Number two on the list would be Spotlight Search. Now, Spotlight's been in Mac OS X for quite some time, but they've revamped the way you search. You actually, when you hit the search bar, it will actually come down like Google. So it looks exactly like Google.com, and it will search through your Mac, it will search through your iTunes collections, iTunes uh, stores, it will do uh, online, so you have like things like Wikipedia coming up. It's definitely a great unified search, and I'm sure it's gonna be powerful for quite a lot of people. If you're doing research papers or whatever, it's definitely Definitely gonna be a cool tool and it does look really slick when you're using it on Mac OS X. My number three would be Mail on Mac OS X Yosemite. Now, Mail has never really been a great application for any Mac at any time just because it's not that great at all. It's actually pretty terrible. Uh, but they've, had, they've made it a little bit more, I guess, flat, more in line with iPad and iPhone. They've added things like you can actually upload larger files up to, I believe, five gigabytes. So I can like upload my YouTube video. And the way it sends it is it actually sends the email portion just normally, and it will upload that to iCloud and it will send the recipient a, a download link to securely download that file. So it's definitely great to see that. My number four would be a new revamp Safari. Now this one looks absolutely beautiful. I'm not exactly sure what they've done to it. It looks very similar to the iPad application and man, it looks super, super sexy and super slick. Uh, it's basically transparent. Like, you know, if you're going through your actual content, you'll see the transparent going through the menu bar. They've uh, uh, made the menu bar, the search bar on the top, really, really small, really easy to navigate. They've added favorites into the search bar, and they just made it a much better experience on Safari. Uh, I've I've actually run into a couple problems so far. It's after like three hours of using Safari on the new Mac OS X, uh, but it looks really good, and I can't wait to see it in its final format later this year. Now, my number five, and probably the most exciting feature of Mac OS X Yosemite would be continuity. Now, that word sounds really interesting and it means a heck of a lot for Apple. Now Mac OS X Yosemite adds this new feature where you can basically really connect all of your devices, so your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac all together. So basically for, for an example, if I'm writing a message or an email on my Mac and I just had to go out and get some gas, I can actually pick up right from where I left off. Now this is across the whole system of iCloud. So this is an, an incredible feature that I'm just really, really wanting to use. Uh, it's not working so far on my uh, on my iOS 8 and uh, Mac OS X Yosemite, but in practice it looks great. They debuted it or they showed it off at WWDC and it looked fantastic. So I can't wait to use that. Now let me switch my focus on to iOS 8. Now iOS 8 is basically a revamped iOS 7. It looks pretty much identical to iOS 7. Uh, the first one I wanna talk about will be the new messages application, and you can actually add uh, audio messages, you can add video messages right from the message. You also have little things like you can actually manage your group messages, so if you're ever getting caught one of those and it's almost endless, it takes like five or seven days for you to actually kill that thing, you can actually manage that. If you created it, you can put people on, off, you can get yourself out if you're in it. It's definitely a great thing, and I'm, I'm sure a lot of people can relate when they get into those group messages. Now my number two would be QuickType. It's a new predictive keyboard from Apple. Now this is going to be one of the smarter ones. It's actually going to not only read what you are writing, but will also read your messages. So the example that Apple showed off here is if you wanna to go to dinner and a movie, and some of the responses you get before even typing would be a dinner, 
theater or movie or whatever. So that would be really cool and I can't wait to actually use it in practice. Uh, so far it's been okay. I guess it takes some time to actually learn how you speak uh, in terms of professionally or just casually to your friends or your coworkers. And the one thing I've noticed so far, it doesn't really interrupt your text messaging just because it's above the normal keyboard. It didn't make the keyboard smaller. It basically just added a little bit more to the keyboard. Uh, and you can turn that service off if you hate predictive text messaging. I'm kind of like that, but I really want to try it out to see how it works over the next couple days. Now my number three would be interactive notifications from iOS 8. This is pretty much as simple as it gets. You get a message or an email, you drag down from the notification bar and you can actually reply to that right in the notification bar. You don't have to go to the application. It's simple, it's easy, and it's one of the great features. It's basically lifted off from Mac OS X Mavericks with its notification bar reply system. My number four is something I've been waiting for since iOS 7, basically the iPhone 5S. Touch ID expansion. So finally, Apple will be opening up their APIs for third-party application developers. So think about like Amazon, eBay, all the stores you can use on your phone will be able to get access to Touch ID. Now, it won't actually have that verification in terms of getting your fingerprint, but it can use that as a password to do your own account. So that will be great. I can't wait to see that integration roll out to future applications. I wanted to have it on eBay, on Amazon. Amazon will be deadly for me, actually. So maybe not but it will be coming very soon to third-party applications pretty much when iOS 8 rolls out later this fall. Now my number five would be Health. Now there is a new application called Health. It wasn't called Healthbook or anything and it's basically not about iWatch at all. It's actually just integrating all your health services, like if you have a job on up, a Fitbit, a Nike Fuel Band. If you have those third-party applications and hardware, you, that application can actually just tap into all that information and give you a unified health application. This sounds incredibly awesome for everything. I mean, just thinking about it, if you have different applications to do your calories, the food intake, how many miles you run, you can add all those applications into one application and there you have it. You don't have to use your applications. It would be incredible. Uh, I can't wait to use it. I actually have a job on up, so I'll be testing out and seeing how much actual data I get. And if you guys would like to see some kind of video on the health application, because it's something close and dear to my heart, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely make a video about that in the near future. So there you have it. Those are my top five features for both iOS 8 and Mac OS X Yosemite. Leave me any questions in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and follow me on Twitter or send me any questions on Twitter at Marco and Hannah and I'll catch you guys in the next video.